Hello, I'm Sean from Booksource, the company that created Booksource Classroom. I will be your guide through a series of videos to help you better understand Booksource Classroom and its many features. In this video, we're going to be talking about just adding books into your library. So let's get into it. If you're already logged in and on your library page, you will see a few different ways to get to the Add Books page. One is on the left where you can see it says Add Books. The other is in the top right where it also has a plus sign, plus Add Books. This may look a little bit different on mobile sites or on tablet sites that are accessing the application, but you'll be able to access the same things um, on any other sort of mobile device. Uh, the site is fully functional on any mobile device out there. Let's go ahead and click on Add Books. So there's a few different ways to add books in Booksource Classroom. One is you can do it manually via ISBNs. You can type this ISBN in, or you can also manually uh, scan the ISBN in with a USB scanner. You can also scan books in with a camera. Now, if I want to type in an ISBN, I've got a book in front of me, and I'm just going to go ahead and type that in. I've already typed it in once before, so it's going to autofill. And then I click plus. Once I click that plus sign, this book is automatically in my library. So it already brought over all this information, like the cover image, the title, the author, and the ISBN. And that's because this book is book source verified as indicated by this icon here. So what that means is that our collection development department, our literacy experts at BookSource, have actually verified this book in the past, and we vetted it, and then we added it into our system. So we have all the information. Not all books that you add into BookSource Classroom are going to be verified by BookSource. And whenever that happens, if you were to type in a book that we don't recognize, it would show up like so. It would say unknown title, unknown author, and you would have to type in this information. It's very easy to do though. Just type in whatever you need to in the title and author areas and then you can just save that information right here. Now what if I want to add multiple copies of a book? Well, you saw that I added Who Eats What earlier. Let's add it again. Okay, let's say I have even another copy of it. So now you'll see that there are three Who Eats What books inside this Add Books column. But the difference is this tracking ID and the custom ID. So the tracking ID is a unique ID across our entire system that identifies this copy of a particular book. So if you're in an entire school, for example, and you pick up a book in a hallway, you'll actually be able to tell exactly which account that book belongs to by that tracking ID. Custom ID is the same thing, except for by default, it defaults to the same thing as tracking ID. But if you have a unique tracking system in your school right now, you can go ahead and edit this to be whatever you want it to be. Condition and location, those are both optional as well. But you can see here that this book has a tracking ID of 324, this one is 322, this one is 287. These are all different copies of the book that you will now see in your library. Now let's say you also want to scan the book in via the camera scanner. You can use a laptop, you can use uh, your phone's camera, iPad camera, anything. But I'm going to use my laptop camera. Just put the ISBN barcode in the camera view and it will automatically add this title in into Booksource Classroom. Now you notice it didn't pull over an author and that's because this title doesn't have an author associated with it. So let's just go ahead and add one in. Add a National Geographic. And that's all we gotta do to add this book in. You can quickly go through and add many titles via the camera scanning feature. Now you also have the option to set locations and that is so that you can scan in an entire bin of books, for instance, if you already have your books organized in your classroom. You can scan in the whole bin and it will automatically associate those with that location. You can manage your locations in the settings page. So another option for adding books is if I go back to the library page, I can say import. Now the easiest way to add books by far is if you're a BookSource customer. And the reason for that is you can import from an invoice. We show you different ways to find your account number on your invoice, and if you type it in, it will find all of the orders that have ever been placed under that account number. You will then be able to click on those orders, and you will be able to see all of the books that are in those orders. We'll tell you if they've been imported already or not, but you can select individual books, you can select individual collections, anything that you need to in order to break down your orders into the appropriate classrooms. Now that's not the only way to import books, though. It might be the easiest, but you also have a different way to import them, which is Excel. I can import by Excel. We also have an Excel template that you can download first. 
And then that template has various columns in it. You fill in those columns with all of the information you have about your library, which is particularly useful if you're coming from another library management system. After that, you just upload the titles. We will verify them for any existing information that might be faulty. And then once all that information is corrected, if there is any, you can upload those files right to your library. It's a great way to be able to add titles quickly, especially if you're coming from a different system. So as far as also editing titles that have been added, I can go to the search and let's just find National Geographic. Okay, this is the one that I added earlier. I can click on this title and go to the title details. And here you will see I have all the copies and I also have all the leveling information about that book over here. I can easily click the edit symbol if I want to edit titles as well. So as you can see, there are several ways for you to add books into BookSource Classroom. We try to make it as easy as possible and make it very simple for you to actually put in many different books from your library. Now you may be wondering, how am I going to add in so many books and it's going to take just so long? Well, we have heard from teachers that have a couple different ideas for that. One is, whenever your students bring a book up to you in the classroom that they want to check out, quickly go to your library and search for that book. When you search for that book, if you don't find it, you know that it's not in your library. At that point, just click Add, book, add Books, add it in there, and now that book is added. Pretty soon, over the course of a couple months, you will have all of the books in your library accounted for. Now, another option that a lot of teachers have told us they do is they make this an activity for their students. They log all their students in on various devices, and then they each give them a stack of titles to add in, and the students take care of the work for them. Those are both pretty creative solutions to adding all the books into your library. Like I said, being a BookSource customer is the easiest way. You'll have all the information already populated for that book, and you can also do it via invoice in that import that we showed you earlier. If you want to know more about being a BookSource customer or why you should be, uh, go to BookSource.com and check us out. So that's all that there is to show on library additions and editing titles in BookSource Classroom. And I thank you for taking the time to learn about BookSource Classroom. Be sure to check out the other helpful videos in this channel.